New details tonight on this group of vandals wasting our taxpayers' dollars. Ten different mug shots flying on the screen here, all ten arrested after a march in Denver, ending with our capital covered in graffiti. We went back there today as crews worked to clean the paint off the building there. It covered walls, windows, and the west steps of the Capitol. Molly Hendrickson is live there tonight digging into who these people really are, Molly. Eric, police say the protesters were with the Million Mask March, an international protest organized by the activist group Anonymous. And we found most of the 10 people arrested here have been in trouble before. Now, does this look familiar? This same tagging on the Capitol we also found on the Facebook page of Alex Nieves. He was arrested for tagging last night, and we found he's also been convicted of possessing graffiti materials back in 2012, as well as petty theft and a curfew violation. Now, also arrested last night was Cody Adamek. He was arrested for criminal mischief. He also has a long rap sheet, including harassment, domestic violence, drug possession, and violating a protection order. Now, on his Facebook page, we found this quote that says, people should not be afraid of their governments. Government should be afraid of their people. Now, lastly, Lance Fortier was arrested last night. He's a sex offender. He was arrested for assault on a peace officer. He also has open charges from September for indecent exposure, unlawful public indecency and disturbing the peace. Now, his record is even longer. He's been convicted of obstructing a peace officer three times in the past, as well as resisting arrest and throwing stones or missiles back in 2012. Now, we found Anonymous was actually tweeting out pictures of the damage to the Capitol last night. They also tweeted out a live shot from our coverage. We're live in Denver tonight. Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.